today we are going to have a little video and do as I promised in the last video and unbox this beautiful bell. Get her out of this ding dang box jail, I swear. Um, I've been wanting to take her out for a while, even before I had a channel, but you know, if you don't know, I moved a couple times in the last two years, so I just put everything in storage and it's been in there for a long time and I've been finding stuff as I've been like unboxing all my things for my house and I found this not too long ago in a box like maybe two weeks ago I think I don't know and I hate the way the box is it's all beat up and the this here is so yellow like I don't even know if you guys can tell because the background that she's against is yellow and it's kind of hard to tell because it's on film, but like if you were here, you could see how yellow it is. It's really icky. I don't like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give a little overview of the box, even though it's kind of beat up. I really like the box if it wasn't so beat up. It's really pretty to me. I like how it says, sorry for the glare, Beauty and the Beast and the Enchanted Christmas. I actually have that movie. I thought it was sweet. I love the roses and everything. Really, really pretty. And it says Holiday Princess Belle, special edition, holiday ornament for you too. I thought that's what that was there. It's super cute. I will definitely put that on my tree. Um, you know, the top says Disney and the bottom says Disney and Mattel. The back just has a really pretty picture that they set up and it says the holiday season is here. In her rich burgundy velvet gown, Belle warms the frosty winter air with her eternal beauty and gentle spirit. She has been given the beast, the greatest gift of all, the gift of hope. This will be a Christmas they will never forget. I love that it says doll cannot stand alone. That so cracks me up. And it says this is a second in the series. I don't know what the first was, but um, I bet you it's pretty like this one. Now, I did already say, but if you haven't watched my other videos, that I am going to just cut this box art off of this and keep it and probably keep the top because it's plastic in the bottom. Figure out something crafty, you know me. If you've watched my videos, I like to, you know, use things. I'll probably keep this part here. Sorry again for the glare. You know, because it's pretty and once I get the box, see how, you know, bent in and beat up it is. But you know, there's the box and the overview so you guys know what's going on. I am going to set her there for a second. I'm going to close and then I'm going to, you know, do all that icky deboxing off camera. And then when I come back in, she'll be all deboxed and we can talk about how beautiful this bell is. So hang on for that, guys. Now we're back and she is finally out of her box jail. I am so glad I took her out, guys. It's, it took a while, <laughs> I'll just say that, it wasn't fun. You can see here how it's bent. This is the back panel I told you guys I was gonna cut off and keep. Um, you can see how like icky it is on like where the sticky stuff was. I don't, I don't love that. I'm gonna cover that up with some white paper or something, you know? And, but I just really like this, but like trying to get her out, like it got all bent up at the bottom. You know, but I wasn't going to keep the box anyway, so I just thought I'd keep that because I thought it was pretty. And the, you know, the top and bottom piece, it was really stuck to it, even after all these years, so it was really hard. But I really kind of want to try and do something with these because they are so nice and they're good plastic, so we'll see. And I did cut this little piece, even though it was super bent. Sorry about the glare off the front. So I'm going to keep that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. We'll see. I always come up with some kind of craziness to do with things. And if I don't, I either throw it away or, you know, I do the best I can to not just discard things if they're, you know, usable or whatever. I try and donate them or whatever. There was this. I thought it was funny. There was a two-year limited warranty, but it got ripped when I was trying to get her out of the box. So there's that. And then here's the beautiful little ornament. I love this. This is so adorable. Let's see if we can get without glare so you guys can see it. If it'll focus. 
There we go. It's just so cute. It has a little like mar on it because a rubber band or something popped. You know, it's been in the box a long time and it like was stuck to the front of this and I did the best I could to like, you know, just gently with my thumb move it off so it wouldn't take any of the, you know, pretty stuff. So that'll be a new ornament for my tree. Super cute. Love it. Gonna hang it right there for now. <laughs> and then I didn't want to open this because usually I just show you the shoes and then take them off because they always want to fall off. They're just little burgundy pumps in this little pack with a little brush from the old days. So I'm just going to leave that like that for now so you guys can see the shoes. But now on to this beautiful bell. Like I said, I am super, super glad that I took her out. She's so pretty, like super duper pretty and like the dress <sighs> they had it in there y'all they had so many stays and things like usually the older dolls are easier to get out of the box but this one was not so easy i do have to say so if you guys get one of these second hand or have one in your collection and decide to debox her it's not gonna be easy <laughs> i will tell you that right now so i'm gonna pick her up let you guys see the stand i can do it without a bunch of glare it says Holiday Princess Bell. It's kind of hard to see because of the glare. And it is always so nice that they give you the stands and the old collector dolls. I do love that. I'm going to just set that there because I'm going to be holding her and showing her to you guys. I don't even know where to start. She's so pretty. <laughs> I guess I'll start underneath. Um, she has real underwear, guys. I love that. That is so cool. And she's got this puffy crinoline, which was all bunched up because they had one of those like tissue paper things jammed up in here to make it poof out so it would sit the way they wanted it to in the box. But, you know, I was glad. I, I, I don't know if I take the outfit off, I'll see if she has anything anywhere. But, you know, like I said, she was stored improperly. So I thought she might have some weirdness with like her legs or a musty or something because they were in an attic what I was told so you know and a lot of them did have like um you know like dust bunny spider webby type things and stuff like that on the boxes so you know I trust that they <laughs> were telling the truth now the dress is pretty wrinkled but it was locked up in a box for a really long time um the material on this dress makes me sad because it's so nice and we don't get anything like that anymore. You know, unless the doll costs like a hundred dollars or more, then they bother now. But you know, this is really pretty like crushed velvet. Now it's not the best velvet. I've, I've have some really, really nice velvet that I've bought in the past at, um, Joanne and it was really, really nice. This is the cheaper, it's got a little thing there, crushed velvet. The only thing I'm glad for that it's not the fancier velvet is that they had so many stays. See, you can see where it poked right there. There was four or five on this in the front of the dress, like holding it out like that. So now this is sewn to the dress, the bow from the back, which is kind of pretty. I love this um, like brocade in the middle. It's really fancy and beautiful. Love that. Now, the detailing on this, on the front here, and the little V with the little roses on the like sleeve and the one in the front, I love those guys. They're so dainty and delicate and cute. Love the sleeve ruffle. You know, I'm a girly girl at heart. I love girly girl things and this to me is so cute. Love it, love it, love it. She has a really pretty gold ring in her hand. I think that's supposed to be a rose, y'all. It's hard to tell, but I really do think it's supposed to be a rose. It's so pretty. I believe she has a 66 body. We'll see. Look at these earrings. These have roses on them, too. I think that is what that's supposed to be. This is a rose here. So I think that her ring is supposed to be a rose. That is just... Oh, love it. I love all the details of the older dolls. Look at this. This necklace is really nice. Now, I do see, like I said... They were stored improperly. See, I see the discoloring. So 
So I just might take her and give her a treatment to get rid of that. Um, you know, clean her up a little because she's too pretty to not. I mean, just look at this face. I miss the um, Mattel doing the Disney dolls, you know, the store Disney dolls, not like the Disney store dolls. There's a difference. But uh, Hasbro doing them now, I just, they, they have... They have no personality to me, and I hate to say that because I don't want to be mean or anything, but they all just have the same big head, and they all kind of look the same, like with different hair colors and eye colors and things, so it's not really... I mean, she actually looks like a bell, and those dolls don't. They just, you know, they all kind of look the same to me, which is sad, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, this doll's face... I know I just said she was pretty, but just look at the sculpt. Super pretty. And she's really, really plain, but beautiful at the same time. She doesn't have a lot of makeup going on. She does have the really pretty dark lips that matches her dress, which I absolutely love. And I love her, like, swoopy eyebrows. Those are nice. And the green eyes. The green eyes are really pretty, like, they have, like, a sage green but they also have like a bright green. I don't know how well my camera is able to pick that up for you guys, but super gorgeous. Here is the back of the dress. It's a little mushed, the bow's a little mushed, but like I said, she was in her box for a really long time. So I'm gonna do my magic on her, you know, and try and get these things, you know, more where they're nice, but and not so flattened. I think I could take a little water, spritz it, and fluff it. Put some like, uh, it's a trick I do. You can take water, just spritz it with plain water, nothing more, not a lot, or use your finger or a, um, like dampen your finger and do that, or use like a washcloth that's damp and just dampen the fabric. And then you take either a, like a plastic bag, like a part of a plastic bag, or some tissue paper and you shove it up in the bow and it'll give it its shape back. See, it kind of already did just with my fingers doing it. So, you know, that's just a little tip and trick from me from deboxing dolls for a long time that have been stuck in their boxes. Um, it's Velcro is how it cinched here, but it's kind of crazy looking. Like, I don't know if I'm sure they mean for you to be able to take it off. Yeah, they have it. See, they have it to where she can slip out. But it says Mattel 1966 Malaysia on her back there. And let's see, does it say anything on her neck besides Disney? No, it doesn't. Her hair. You guys, like, I don't, I don't know if it looks pretty to y'all through the viewfinder, but it's super pretty. It's really shiny. Really, really pretty. I'm probably going to replace the elastic because it looks like it's snapped there. But, you know, that's not a big thing. The bow elastic is fine. It's just, it's that really soft, nice, I like this hair, whichever one it is. I know the differences and how to treat them. I just don't know which one is which. Like, I don't know if this is Knacklon or whatever, or saran. I'm pretty sure it's not nylon because it doesn't have that coarse feeling. It has that really soft, fluffy feeling. I mean, if you guys had touch of vision, this is so soft. It really is. It's really nice hair. And I love the little ringlets. They're a little, you know, frumpy from being in the box so long, the little ringlets. But, you know, I can fix all that. Everything that's wrong with her, basically, I can fix. There's no problem. But she's just gorgeous to me. I think you guys, like, if you ever see her for cheap or whatever, you know, I mean, like, I'd pay $10 or $15 for her, I'd say. You know, I think that's reasonable. I didn't pay that much for her, but, you know, I got lucky. I got very, very lucky, you guys. Like, extremely lucky. Let's see. Let's see how... Ooh, nice knees. Ha, ha, ha. Love a good bend and snap. Love the fancy, you know, inside tags. I don't know, it's it's simple, but it's something I love. I love the little nice inside tags. It actually has two tags, that's funny. Um, let's see, is there anything else that I didn't talk about? 
I don't know, she's just so pretty to me. I'm kind of like stumped as to what to say. No painting on her fingers and toes, but I didn't think there would be because, you know, Belle didn't really have that. She was beautiful, but plainly beautiful, you know, and that's Belle. But this doll, you guys, I mean, she's gorgeous. Look at that. So pretty. I cannot wait for Christmas time this year because I'm going to have all these dolls, these pretty dolls. I'm going to set my dolls up around my Christmas tree, like my Christmas related dolls. I do that sometimes just because, you know, I'm me. <laughs> I like to do that stuff. It's just a me thing. I'm going to put her back on her stand and set her here so you guys can see her one last time. Her beautiful self, beautiful Belle. Love her, so, so pretty. And she's here with Bunny. <laughs> I, I really like, I know that I didn't say a lot or gush like sometimes I do, but she's just so pretty to me. She really, really is. There's nothing I don't like about this doll, like to be honest. There's nothing about her outfit I don't like. There's nothing about her jewelry, her face, any part of her. Love it. Love the shoes, even though I didn't put them on her. Um, Simply Gorgeous is, is the best thing I can say. Simply Gorgeous to me. I hope she's pretty to y'all. I hope you enjoyed getting to see her in her beautiful gown. And, like, I wish you guys had Touch-A-Vision so you could touch it because, like, this brocade is really, really beautiful and nice. And this satin is too. I think this is satin or like a form of satin. It's it's not the super softest, but it's not that really coarse, cheapy stuff that we get these days either. Everything, every little detail on this doll to me is exquisite. And I just feel so lucky and blessed to have her. And now finally that she's unboxed, I can, you know, display her like she should be because that box was just horrendous, you guys. Like the front was so yellow. Like, I don't know. It's so hard to tell on camera. I was going to keep a piece of it and show it to you, but I just threw it away because it was so yellow. And I figure you guys trust me. You know that I'm not going to say something's yellow if it's not. <laughs> but I think I'm going to close here, say my goodbyes, y'all, because we have talked about this beautiful bell for around 15 minutes. And I think that that's all you guys can take. So. Thank you, thank you to everyone who is watching. I appreciate every view, even if you're not subscribed. I appreciate my subscribers. I've gotten two more since my last video. You guys are so wonderful to me. Thank you so much for subscribing. It makes me so happy and it gives me like, you know, that boost to keep going and try harder for you guys. So thank you for that. Everybody, I hope you're having a great Friday, the best dolly day you can possibly have. I hope you have a great dolly weekend and know that I'll be here doing dolly silliness like always and hoping that you all are well. Please take care of yourselves guys over the weekend and I will see you soon. Take care. Hugs and love to all my subscribers. Bye y'all.